Good evening and welcome to the starting a little bit late Sunderland Select Board meeting for Monday, February 12th, 2018. We're running over in another meeting downstairs. So <clears throat> I see Bob here tonight. It's that time of year. <clears throat> so tonight we have at our, which is now 647, uh, we have the fire department here for budget presentation. It's that exciting time of year. All right. Things in fire department. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, they're busy tonight. Yeah, just, oh, just yeah? busy enough. They went, they went swimming. Did they? Yeah. Nice. Busy enough. <laughs> it's, it's that time of the year, too, for water in basements. So. It is, it is. Those hazards <clears throat> of living in a low lying area. They didn't call it Swamp Field for nothing, right? Absolutely yeah. not. Absolutely not. <clears throat> so. What, um, what you have before you is a budget that has not changed an awful lot from last year. The two changes are really occurring in the civil defense line item and also in the town park line item. Uh, start with the town park. It's relatively benign. Uh, understandably, uh, the budget was lowered from uh, previous levels of $1,500 down to 1000 and that reflected expenditures for the last couple of years. However, the uh, septic tank pumping mm. could cost several hundred in that five, six hundred dollar range, and we also have some uh, maintenance that we'd like to do in terms of tree removal okay. up there. Some really big pine trees that are starting to get sick lose big branches yep. and just in getting some budgets from folks could any be anywhere from 500 to a thousand dollars to get the trees on the ground and then you know in a in, an air, in a manner that we could deal with them from there yep. so in the interest of keeping those uh, those things up and working on that requesting that the budget goes back to fifteen hundred dollars a year okay and on the civil defense line item a couple things changed. We had a move from the Blackboard Reverse 911 Emergency Notification System to Code Red, which was slightly more expensive. Mm. And we also have a new Emergency Management Director, Lori Smith, that uh, I brought over because I have requested a small stipend uh, for her time. The, uh, the town is going to embark on some new emergency planning like a lot of other things that we've seen in the past years, the, the, the interactions with the state and the obligations for time and meetings is getting to be more and more. Creeps up a little bit, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And it's, you know, it, it's a good thing because it allows us and to some extent really sort of um, channels us into paying more attention to that sort of thing yeah. and, uh, and keeping up with all the good things that the state is doing. But... Again, it's more demands on time. So Lori was good enough to, to jump in head first and uh, requested, I want to say, a uh, $500 stipend uh, per year for okay. the, uh, the EMD. And the other budget <coughs> items remain the same. The, same. Uh, the only other item is a capital request for the, uh, for the truck. It's something about, yeah, some truck thing or something is the it? truck thing yeah. the truck if you <laughs> if, if you look at that sort of thing in the newspapers the uh, the truck is out to bid I saw that yeah we're just about getting to the end of the question period okay and expecting to have three bidders well, hopefully we'll get more bidders than the last we've, time yeah, we've seen be this movie before yeah hopefully yep. this will have a different ending um, we spent the last year talking to several other manufacturers sitting down with them yeah. seeing what their uh, barriers were, you might say, to bidding previously, and uh, removed some of those while trying to maintain the, the standards that yeah. we wanted, the features that are useful to us, and uh, yeah, you know, just trying to keep in mind the, uh, the things that we use a lot, and uh, writing the specs to accommodate those folks but still maintain that usefulness. Stevie, Stevie, on, on the uh, 
on on the fire truck on <clears throat> I see you have a value of sixty five hundred dollars for the the old the old truck. Now, were you planning on trading that, or what, what were you? We're going to have to surplus it. And, well, and, I, and I, I was just wondering about that, because what, when we were in Boston, there's a, um, I have a guy's oh, card yeah. that does municipal, it's kind of like a, a Craigslist, but for municipal stuff. Mm -hmm. And and he was, we, we were just talking, and sometimes he said, like, People think it's worth a thousand dollars, and you get like ten thousand. But maybe we can look at doing something like that as well. Oh, without a doubt, <clears throat> but um, none of the manufacturers are interested in taking it for for trade-in, right? Because right. it's so obsolete in terms of current safety standards. None of them, none of the dealers want to take it and then sell it again for the purpose of firefighting. It's like where you get an old car and you're trying to trade it in for a new one that. You know, exactly. once it's beyond a certain age. Okay. Exactly. And so there, there might be something in the other markets that we can look at. The, it's it's either going to go to one or two places. Yeah. It'll go likely to either a collector, and there are those folks are around. Collectors, yeah. Then that might have a certain value for that group, or it could go for agricultural use for a irrigation pump. Is that, that, is that e gas or uh, diesel? It's a diesel. It's got a Detroit diesel. That, that, mm. that hurt last time because it was uh, gas. And a lot, nobody wanted to yeah, no. bid on a, on a gas. No, they all wanted yeah. diesel. Yeah, but this. And is a, you said it's a Detroit. Detroit, six seventy one. Hmm. It's a six seventy one. Good. It's a good motor. Uh, <clears throat> six six fifty four six seventy ones are all very nice engines. It would go really <coughs> nice in my boat that I want to go around the world in. <laughs> <laughs> You can bid on it. Yeah, I was going to say. It's still to you, but <laughs> 671s are nice. I don't know what you do with the rest of the truck, but hey, you know. I don't need this. I just see that engine. Yeah. Detroit. Uh, and with, uh, you know, with the way that emissions are now and the, uh, you know, the desirability of those older motors, that might be something that uh, yeah. something that people go after, too. It is very desirable. Yeah, very desirable, 671s. And one question. How is the... The rental fees for the town park, is that how they've been doing? They've been doing okay. Because <clears throat> I was just thinking, like, you know, well, how often do you pump the septic? Is it Does it vary depending About on usage? once a year. Okay. <clears throat> and we've pumped it. We pumped it in uh, 2017. Yeah. Don't believe we pumped it in 16. But last year we had some steady interest in it. Yeah. And then this year, we've got, just off the top of my head, we've probably got four or five events that are either booked or people are getting ready to book. Okay. So we probably should pump it once a year. Is it a small tank? or Off the top of my head, I don't remember. I want to say it's close <clears throat> to, it's either a 700,000. It's, it's not a small tank. We sized it so we wouldn't have to maintain it. Yeah. An awful lot, <clears throat> okay. but um, it's not not nice to have a <clears throat> an event going on and then have problems and the backup. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? No. When you expect in the bids to uh, when, when's the bid closing, Steve? You know offhand? Bid closing, if memory serves me, it's the twenty second. Twenty second. February. And. So Sherry's already prepped the uh, ballot question and stuff, Sherry? Well, the question on council, everybody's been engaged. I kind of need to be involved okay. in that project. USDA, you know, everything's in motion. Yeah. Um, you guys had a very nice uh, birthday party there last week. Thank you. A good time. Yeah, sorry, kids had, make great, that kids had a great time. <clears throat> it, was, it was good. I've been been hearing a lot about that. Good. Really happy that everybody was able to come and oh, help us nice. celebrate a a good a good history. Oh, that's good. That's good. So with the flu, yeah, we actually looked at some of your old turnout gear. Nice. Things have come a long way. <clears throat> yeah. It's a nice raincoat. I guess. <laughs> that's right. Anybody else have any questions back there at all? You guys have any questions? What year's um, current truck that you're trading? It's an 88. 98? 
Idiot. How about you guys? Any questions? Yeah, this is just the beginning. Just piling the yeah, numbers yeah, up, you know. Two weeks is the uh, the heavy hitters haven't even yeah, come in yet, so. <clears throat> okay. All right. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Right. Thank you. That was Larry What's Revis. The cost on it? That was Larry Revis. In his yes, the Phyllis. Bids last year yes, came in at there. just over um, five hundred thousand. North Plain Road. North Plain Road. Yeah, we're I got there. We're anticipating anywhere so from five hundred to five hundred ten. Yes. With inflation, and since uh, you know, we've got some other manufacturers that are involved now, who knows what's gonna might help a little bit. Yeah. Well, it might help. Um, or it might drive it all up too. We've had, you know, in a lot of a lot of industries, plastics and and steel, they're seeing. Five eight percent increases, Real increases, and of course the trucks not going to be built until <coughs> second quarter, third quarter. That's when all the materials would be ordered and, and be coming in uh, calendar year, third quarter. <clears throat> so they're not talking about pricing now. They're all projecting forward. Watching six the months. spot market and padding the price based precisely on that. Yeah. for that sort of thing. But it shouldn't go up an awful lot. But it's still a lot of money. There's no question. It's a big investment. How much boat would that get you for that engine for 500000 <laughs> It'd give me a Ranger Tug 31-footer. There you go. With the options. <laughs> I'd get the 48000 $48, pretty quick. 4800 $4,800,000 real quick. Especially in boat land. Yeah. A hole in the water and you throw your money. But I would be able to afford a generator. <laughs> That'd be nice. I couldn't get the leather up upholstery, but I couldn't get that. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, go with some umbrella fabric yeah. or something, right? I've been just soaking away all my selective <coughs> salary over the last few years, so I've just been putting oh, away for that down me. payment. That's my down payment. Oh, so you gotta, you're got you ready for a yacht. <laughs> I got an $83 paycheck. With a little boat about this big. <laughs> uh, <coughs> any other opportunities to give you some more plug, anything you want to plug while you're here, you know, for the fire department? Going to be having Change those smoke detector batteries. Well, uh, beyond beyond that, we can <coughs> talk about that. If you didn't do it at New Year's, absolutely. No. Look at your smoke detector batteries, carbon monoxide batteries. If you have smoke detectors or CO detectors that are over 10 years old, change them out. Change them. And some of the new ones are combined now. So some of them are combined. And the nice thing about the new ones that you purchase, they will be sealed batteries. So no more forgetting about changing the batteries. You won't have the option. They will have the batteries Wait, in lithium there. Lithium ion? Oh, so those will catch on fire. All right. Well, <laughs> we're hopeful that... I know that it doesn't happen, right? It doesn't add to the... the yeah. ...what's going on. Um, but not only that, but also in the with what's left of winter, keep an eye out on your neighbors. Yeah. The, the elderly, those that are a little bit more vulnerable than the rest of us. If the weather's bad... It's still more winter. Happens. Yeah. My yeah. job is to make sure my... Neighbors don't set their smoke alarms off and set the entire building Shovel off. your fire hydrants. Yes. yes. Yep. And Clear out your fire hydrants, your storm drains, and also your um, exhaust pipes if you have um, heating systems, too, yes. because that'll Very block good. it up, and yep. and if it, the controls don't work and they don't shut off, then you could be in big trouble. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, don't, ever, don't ever be afraid to call the fire department <clears throat> for something that may seem like nothing, but... It, uh, it could be something. You just want to review uh, um, carbon monoxide mm -hmm. symptoms. Yeah, that's well, a good. I, I, I just know people, it's something that most people would not even know. And it's a, it's a good point, Tom. Um, carbon monoxide is a byproduct of combustion, so it doesn't matter what sort of heating system you have in your house, unless it's electric. You have the potential oh. for there to be carbon monoxide. So gas, oil, propane. Wood stoves, even. Wood stoves. Oh. Oh. It's, it's all there. So um, it's colorless and odorless. If you have some exhaust mix in, mixed in, you might be able to, to smell it that way. But otherwise, you won't know about it. And the symptoms are lightheadedness, nausea, 
being disoriented. Uh, headache is a big one. Hmm. And um, irritability. If you're, and it's it's funny, but oh, people with yeah. carbon monoxide exposure, I, uh, I know, you know, they can know. can you know hmm. they can have a, a, a bit of a shorter fuse, and a lot of that's tied in with confusion <coughs> and different things, and um, that will get progressively worse as the the symptoms continue and the exposure continues, and um, up until it, it essentially suffocates you, and you don't feel it coming aside from those symptoms yep. and uh, yeah you get very very uh, drowsy and you know that's what you succumb to the other thing is small amounts of carbon monoxide over time even if they don't give you a big headache even if they don't really confuse you even if you don't feel uh, off uh, that buildup over time is very bad for you also it affects your, your heart, and it affects your circulatory system, your brain. Uh, so it's a good idea not only to have those uh, CO detectors and to make sure they work, but if you have an oil burner, if you have some sort of a, uh, a furnace, have it looked at on a regular yeah, basis. Annual checkups are important. And, and I sure guess not, why, why yeah. I thought it was important is that, you know, <clears throat> with CO detectors now in many houses, mm -hmm. if your CO detector goes, goes off, um, because it's odorless, colorless, um, call the fire department. They can come yep. over. They have a they have a, a detection meter that that tells them what your percentages of uh, O2 and CO and it, One it just. One thing is, do not open your windows after you've called the fire department. Yeah. You want to be able to get an accurate reading. Get the just reason. go outside and wait. Right. Yeah. That's right. But I, and again, I, I and, and I, cause, and, and why I say it is because a lot of time you check on your neighbors. Um, that's one of the things that you would, you know, look for also. They could be red in the face also, you know, a little more red in the face than normal. So, and again, that's, it's just something that you hear about it all the time. It happens around all, of, a lot of communities around us. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> terrible. Especially sure. power outages and people trying to do things to stay warm. They shouldn't do. Well, we've, we've yeah, seen that year. after the, the October snowstorm. We yeah. had um, people with propane heaters in their house. Yes, it's a no-no. Kerosene heaters? Kerosene yep. heaters. Yeah, kerosene, yeah. We had two gentlemen in an apartment building that had a charcoal hibachi in their apartment. And yeah, it, you don't want to do that. They both survived, so it's, it's something you can chuckle about, but um, one of them ended up in a hyperbaric chamber in Boston for over a week. Yeah, that's came good. about half an hour uh, away from uh, from dying. Because Grill your burgers outside. Yeah. When it says for outdoor use only, that's right. They mean it. Yep, that is true. Thank you, TV. All right, thanks. If you're going to swap out hard wire detectors, are you going to have to have an electrician come in, or will the pigtails still plug into the new ones? If you've got a hardwired system, the best bet is to have an electrician come in and make sure that everything is still getting power and that um, everything is still wired correctly. It depends why you're swapping it out. If you've got to, if you're going to transfer the property, there's a whole slew of rules for where where things have to be and how many of them there have to be. If that makes sense. Um, but generally speaking, if you've got one sensor that's gone bad, or it's old, for whatever reason you want to replace it, you can typically go to the store, get the identical brand, and plug it in, and it should work. There are adapters, so you can switch brands, but we've seen in those cases you can have some, you can have some unintended consequences. And it can, like anything else uh, with electrical systems, you can have troubles that, that crop up and um, you might think it's a bad sensor, bad head, you put a new one in and the same thing happens. So it's, there's a lot of answers to that question. Yeah. Consult an electrician. <laughs> yes, that's probably going to be the next. It's just bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Steve, I just want to uh, thank you and uh, the members. Um, they've been doing a great job. Um, and. Um, so when you go down there, you know the, the way they're working all together and stuff. That's it's if you it, great thing about 
Chief Ahern is if um, it carried, you guys have the the spear to core to maintain on there right now. So you guys are doing a great job. And it's all these, the functions, they're important. <clears throat> and to, to watch the kids climbing the trucks and being around you guys, that's only a good thing because that that hope you know that promotes that that you guys are approachable approachable to them and and puts good memories and, and it's I, I actually noticed there was many families walking down the street from and as concerned that it was dark so uh, um, we gotta do something about that but uh, they but you guys are doing a great job thank you thank you thank you members also for us well it's it's them that because you you've the only reason you have a department is you have multiple people. And, um, and we've got a great group of people, um, some people that are very experienced, some people that are not all that experienced in firefighting yet, but everybody is, they're doing all their trainings. We've got, we've got engineers, we've got educators, we've got um, a resume that would make your head spin. And we've even got two uh, two fellows that are um, licensed plumbers, boiler makers, firemen to, to run industrial boilers. They saved the town a lot of money this weekend by doing some work on our circulator pumps. And uh, no, they're, they're doing good. Appreciate nice job. That. Thank so, you. It's our pleasure. Thank it's our you. Pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Keep your feet dry. <laughs> we'll, we'll try. All right, George. Sorry. Of course, we're part of the cause of it. We're late, right? So. It's a great year for the roads, right? Everything's tight, no potholes. Yeah. Uh, that rain just causes havoc. Yeah, yeah. Know, it's all going to freeze up. Yeah. So. I don't know, did everyone get the new ones? Yeah, one? they have the new ones. So I changed it a little bit because I was looking at it today and there was a few things missing out of it. So <laughs> I fixed it, hopefully. Uh, there's a few few things that most, basically it's almost the same as, as last year. There's a couple other increases that we did. Um, first increase would be to my seasonal wages for my summer help kids. Um, that way I can use them a few more hours through the summertime, get some more stuff done. You, uh, yeah, you guys have been doing quite a bit the last few summers, haven't you, George? Yeah, we, I, last year I was able to, since we had one less employee, I was able to use some of that money to get some of the summer help kids more hours, and they those two did quite a bit of work last year for us, and it helped out quite a bit, so um, hopefully we can continue with that, hiring two of them at the same time, you know, kind of split the hours between the two, so and I, th I get a little bit more work out of, out of them per day. So mm -hmm. seemed to be working out good, so I'm just hoping to increase that a little bit. Um, machinery expense, you know, that's for parts and maintenance of some of the some of the vehicles uh, that we have. So, yeah. you know, parts and everything, everything's going up. So I just added a little bit more on that. To George, when, when, have you ever, have you looked at what it costs uh, the town to do with uh, the mowing? To do like the mowing for everything, yeah. contract for it. Yeah, <clears throat> I've looked at it in the past. I haven't looked at it last year what they were charging. Um, I thought about it briefly just the other day that maybe you know if we get if we could get a summer help kid for forty hours a week, maybe we could put him on a on a mower if we had one big enough yeah. to get get that done, and that might save a little bit of money. In the, long I, the only part about that is they go back to school and like. Early, early, you know, late August. So you still got grass growing at that. Yeah, time. but is that what you're thinking? I, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just wondering. I, I, I mean, one of the things that we hear a lot about is, especially like in the springtime, that they, when it's not the lawns aren't getting mowed on, uh, on, enough. Right. Um, yeah, and it's been pretty long last summer. Yeah. A few times. And and then and then, you know, I know we used to do the mowing of the lawns, mm -hmm. and then. With only the three guys, um, it's difficult. It was difficult to maintain. But I was just wondering if 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 you had, you know, I don't know how much. I don't know. We bid it out shortly, right? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what the, the numbers are coming in or have been coming in at, but it's something that we could afford to do and, and uh, employ a couple of lo local kids versus, right? You know, I'm I'm just I'm, and and maybe we could get it done more often. Um, so I know I think would I'd have to go through and figure it out and see how long each each piece would take, yep. and that would determine you know if we could use two kids or one kid to do it or. Yeah. If, you well, know. Next time you're in a uh, snowstorm, just multitask. Multitask, yeah. figure that out. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I yeah but I'll do that. Well, you know, some, sometimes we sometimes we don't look at you know we we, we make a decision and we yeah. don't look back at it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but you know, if sometimes if you need a, a, a second set of hands and you had if you had somebody that was mowing the lawn that you could just delay a mowing for a day to give you that other set of hands. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. No. And and I'd I'd rather that that gives you more flexibility, gives us more flexibility at the same time. So. Right. And you could use it as. And a it template. might be a savings in the long run anyway. You know, mm -hmm. from. Could be. Yeah. Well, because we do Could ours, and we do the then they do the. Um, the cemetery, they mow the cemeteries and all that. So, I, I was just wondering if it, you know, it, I think it'd be good to take another look at it, see what it, yeah. see what it's costing us. Okay, I'll sit down with Sherry tomorrow yeah. if I figure out what you, what the contract was this year, and then kind of go from there. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Uh, fuel expense, I'll up that by five hundred. So I'm not sure what the fuel is going to do, whether it'll go up or down next year. It's so, been going up. I uh, can tell you that. this year we did pretty good by locking in our prices. So. We're, we're decent on that right now. Um, snow and ice wedges. I know last year you guys questioned maybe we should probably go up a little bit on those, so I added another 5000 to both the wages and, and uh, the, the expense. Whether we want to do that or not, uh, I'm not sure. I, I mean, we, we know what it costs. Yeah. I mean, the prices aren't going down. Yep. That's for sure. So... I know a lot of other towns around us are starting to switch to all salt. Um, yeah. You know, it's a savings on a savings on sweeping and catch basin cleaning and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe eventually we might we might start thinking about switching to all salt, possibly. So they use, do they use all salt in Hadley or Hadley's all salt? They use a treated salt, so it's yeah, a little bit more money than regular salt. Yep. Yeah. Um, I think. I think it's worth the difference. Like, does it? It, it works better on cold weather, <laughs> definitely. Stick, we got a lower freezing point yep. out of it. Yep. Um, yeah, you masked us too. Yeah, Deerfield uses it. Uh, Waitley's in all salt now. Greenfield's all salt. Um, I'm sure that would. Leverett's sand salt mix, I think. Uh, Montague's sand salt. We're sand salt. There's still a bunch of towns using the sand salt, so it's kind of like a 50 50 right now yeah. or something. I guess the only benefit is that once in a while it may give you a little extra traction, but then we got to spend all the money to clean it up. Yeah, yeah. In the spring. So, and then the uh, wage line <clears throat> items, we, um, you know, we hasn't determined what what the increase yet for the coal is, or if we're going to get a coal this year. There's going to be so. That's I just left those kind of blank for now. Okay. That's it, really. Any capital issue, George? Yeah. <clears throat> First capital is a fuel dispense dispenser for the diesel side. We did the gas and uh, gas in the new uh, reader card reader this year. Yeah. Um, I was hoping not to do the diesel side, but it looks like it's starting to seep a little bit so i think it's time to to do that one and the new pumps that we have now they're they're working really well I was say they're yeah, the, new, well. the new system is really nice okay. uh, it's easier to track it gives you gallons per department per truck so you can break it down to, to everything it's, it's really nice yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good and that's about I did it at five thousand because it's right around forty five hundred ish um, for the for the price um, forty six 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 two uh, is what I got a proposal from Lemlin uh, for it so that's that one. And speaking about mowers, there's a, a mower in here. <laughs> so there's a few different bids on on this one. Um, 
I haven't quite sat down and looked at all of them. There's, you know, they're right, they're close around the same numbers. Yeah. There's left over in there that's about, I think, 8,500, and then there, the other ones are right around 10.5 or somewhere around there. So and that's for like a 61 inch mower. Um, it's a good size mower. So, you know, if we do start mowing the bigger areas, we might, you know, get a big one like that and then maybe a smaller one. Um, <clears throat> Keep up with, with all the mowing and stuff. Okay. It's a zero turn type? Zero turn, yep. Yeah. And you got a, a two post vehicle lift. Um, we're trying to do more and more work on our municipal vehicles in shop if we can. And you know, this would make it a lot easier to put like the one ton and the, the cruise. Now, obviously, we can't put the big trucks up on it because it's not big enough or we don't have enough room. But like the pickup and the one ton and the crew and the old car and stuff like that, we can put it up on a lift and change oil and change brakes and yeah, like you know, and stuff like that. You know, and if we did have time, maybe we could start maybe doing some of the P oil changes or, or, or brakes or something like that. You know, that's something we'd have to work on, okay. And I think there was a price on that from Lappins. Is there any uh, increase in like insurance liability for having something like that? That I'm not sure about. That's something we'd have to find out, I think. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. <clears throat> Lappins gave us a price of uh, like $8,436 for that. And that's installed too, so. And then eventually the F-250 pickup is going to be, it's an 03, it's got 100 and maybe like 130,000 on it right now, I think. But is that the, the V-10? Uh, no, that one's got a 5.7 in it. 5.7? Yeah. The truck's not in too bad a shape right now, their plow's getting kind of tired on it. It's getting kind of sloppy, but uh, mm -hmm. it still does the job pretty good. How, how's the uh, the 544? The loader? Yeah. It's holding on right now, so I know we had a new tranny there put in yeah. a while back, but right now, knock on wood, it's it's doing a pretty good job, so. That's good. And I just got a catch basin repair, is that? Um, Part of the vehicle lift? No, oh, sorry, yeah, never no. mind. That was supposed to be that deleted was, off there. Yeah. Yep. Okay. That was last year's. Yep, oh, that's all right. That's all right. Yeah. That's a good question about the uh, the maintenance issue, though, because I know about the. But well, we can check on. We can check with that. The uh, Sherry can check with Maya. Yeah. About doing the insurance part of liability. Yeah. Yeah, because I know that saved us some when you did the repairs on the equipment before too. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Also throws a little variety, I guess, in too, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Any questions, Bob? How about you guys? No. <clears throat> capital coming up. Yeah. You've been putting it off for so many years. Well, it's right. You can only put it off for so long, right? <clears throat> the, uh, it was interesting because, uh, I, I had a conversation with an individual the other day, and they said, "How come, how come when we listen, when I listen to the uh, budgets that are presented by the department heads, I they don't they don't seem unreasonable." Um, okay. I, and I said, "Well, I wish I could tell you that they are unreasonable, but I, usually our department heads come in with pretty." Pretty reasonable. Pretty reasonable expectations. I mean, they understand. They, they understand where everything is, so. so. I don't know if there was a right answer for that question. Probably not. Yeah. I guess they are pretty reasonable. That's pretty much your answer, I guess. Yeah. I haven't seen anybody ask for the leather interior of the new truck yet. Nope. Nope. <laughs> not yet. Yeah. You know. I want that my new boat, but... Yeah. All right. All right, thanks, George. Appreciate it. Yep. Nice to have a great night.
Thanks. Unfortunately, the winter's not over yet. So. No, not yet. Yeah. Not this week, George. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Nice. This week, yeah, we'll get off. We'll pay for it probably somehow. You know, yeah, usually. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, so Sherry, when are we supposed to talk to the schools next week? The schools will be here on the 26th. No meeting next week. It's President's Day. Oh, that's right. The 26th. How about that? You know, Frontier so. and Sunderland Elementary coming? Right. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be no, a stack. I, I thought South County EMS was... They rescheduled. They ran into a, a scheduling conflict, so they are coming on March 5th. All right, so, so you understand right now their budget's without applying any... Um, that's what Zach said, yeah. Okay. Their excess earnings the, or... Yeah. Uh, they they call it Retained earnings. No, no, it's retained earnings. Excess, yeah. There's, there's a there's a there's a term that the state the state uses retained earnings. Retained yeah. earnings, yeah. It's their free cash okay. for the right. enterprise. They're, yeah. Because yeah. of their yeah, structure. Yeah, that one was up ninety eight thousand. So um, I don't know if you had a chance to look at the revenue figures. Mm -hmm. Upside down. So. Yeah, because we have a meeting next Thursday. The twenty second. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. So we see we have to amend our minutes, huh? Yeah. A Do you, uh, you guys all set? Finance. So. Any question? Yep. What's that? It's gonna be a fun one this year. There's a lot of money out there. Yeah. Big yeah. budgets. Yeah, I, I guess we just, Did you see the the latest school budget from Sunland Elementary? I have not. No. Yeah, you do have it. We, I think we just got something today. It right? just came in today. It came yeah. in today. Yeah. So it should be in your box in the email. Something on the street about an override the school department. Yeah, we'll have to. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't hit. We didn't hit the lottery between. Last year and this year, so somehow those corporate tax not open yet, so we're not flush with cash. Well, exactly, right? and those corporate tax cuts didn't help us at all. Well, uh, <clears throat> I, 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 I think people, we have to, we have to look at what our new growth is every year. It's about one hundred and fifty thousand dollars plus or minus a couple thousand dollars. So, so you know. And there's really, if you were to divide it up to say, the way I look at it, third goes to elementary school, third goes to frontier, and third goes to town, roughly speaking. Mm -hmm. So that's fifty thousand dollars go to the elementary, frontier, and the town. That's not a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, that, and not to provide the services that that we want, mm -hmm. you know, and but those are discussions that we have to have to have to make and, and it's funny because you know like I know the fire department is just over here and and I'm sure the people say well I never use a fire department they're there though mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and when something happens so yeah. it's like when you pay your insurance you hope you never have to use it but when you need it you want it to be there hey look in front of my house Saturday Saturday morning <coughs> Saturday morning, two thirty in the two thirty in the mornings. You know, in the past, people say, "Well, what happened in Sunland at two o'clock in the morning?" Uh, I can tell you, a car went right into a tree right in front of my house, mm -hmm. and, and our police were there, and you know, the highway department responded, and I, I mean, yeah. they're there. I mean, but most people don't see those things, right. you know, because they're asleep or you know, it's in North Sunland, not. Right, like the south part of town. South, south Plain Road, so. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I remember about five, six years ago, Chief Gilbert came to one of our meetings and kind of detailed out all the calls that police do, and you're like, really? I didn't hear about any of this yeah. stuff. Yep. You know. Like, wow. Yeah, there's, there's a lot, lot that goes on, on yeah. <clears throat> and, and, and our police are kind of like our... Mm -hmm. The first responders. I mean, they yep. they they're there for a lot of things. You know, like even they're over there because of the 
and and it is a safety concern you know that it's a, a cellar flooded and and the cellar floods and and what, what's in the cellar the electrical well, and all well, sorts of stuff well yeah you got you got your furnace with your yeah. blower motors and a lot, yeah well it can go wrong <clears throat> and sometimes but, you need somebody to remind yeah. um you may not want to be down there exactly get out of the basement <coughs> oh, agree. Okay. There's a lot of things that go on in the police department we don't know about. And yet, in the Greenfield paper uh, and in the Amherst paper, you can find out exactly what's going on with the police department because they put the police reports in. Why doesn't that happen in some Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think it's in cheap. there. That? I think guys are in there. Usually I see, you know, occasional reports. Although, you know what I would say is a good thing, too, is Facebook. Check they do that. do a lot on Facebook. Um, but usually usually I'll see stuff in there. Um, huh? Like Greenfield, and it has all the police behind you. Has some. We used to do it, and now that... Well, you, 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 may want to, you may want to talk to your... I don't know if it's a time. So, sometimes, time some, sometimes, yeah. sometimes the newspapers cherry pick what they put in. Also, that's true. You, you may have noticed. You may have noticed that there's not as much local news as there used to be in the, in the local newspapers as well. That's true. You know, and 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 the, and I would bet even if you look at even if you look at the the. The logs from the police logs from Greenfield and Montague. Yeah, that's that's cherry picked. That's <clears throat> not all of them. Yeah. Those are the more. What's going to get more eyeballs? Yeah. <clears throat> but, I mean, Sherry's working with uh, some people on the uh, Sunderland Quarterly newspaper, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And maybe maybe we should have a section for the police log. Yeah, you could cross post there. That's a good idea. Is there any privacy issues? You just can't say you don't put names in there. Right, right. right. As long as it sticks to what goes in the yeah. paper. Right, right. Yeah, and depending on what format it is, too. Honestly, you could throw it on the <coughs> excuse me on the website. Even <coughs> that's an option. But they do do a lot on their on their Facebook page. Um, that's. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's one way, you know, a lot of people keep in touch now with that and, and monitor through that. I, don't, I think that's the only social media they use right now. I think so. Okay. We're not really a big enough town to fully manage our social media, so best, best kept very small until you can manage it. We don't have a PR team, you know? <sighs> Okay, on, on to the less exciting stuff in the meeting. <laughs> Our minutes. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I did go back and review that video and um, <clears throat> clarify uh, the comment. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah. Well, good night. Thanks for coming. Thank you, Sherry. That that, that was made. Does that? Yeah. Hey, Bob. It, Catherine cl clarified her statement just to say that, you know, the 9000 has to come from the budget. They yeah, try to looks, raise money to offset that. Absolutely. I, and, and, and the friends do, do a wonderful job and there are a lot of things, but mm -hmm. as far as the uh, coverage of the cost of for the state, I thought we had, we did cover that, and I guess we do. That's good. Okay, motion to accept the amended uh, January 22nd minute, minutes. Uh, second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, motion on the 29th. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll have the second since there's no Scott tonight. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Unless he's going to. I know, Skype remotely. In. He didn't Skype in, I know, huh? <laughs> motion on the. Uh, February 5th meeting. Now, am I allowed to? I don't. Do they, I think they changed that so I can. Yep. Even though I wasn't here. Okay. You can still vote, Davey. Yeah, okay. Uh, second. Aye. Aye. All right. Here we are. Got our minutes taken care of. <coughs> um, can you say any updates? Um, I, I kind of did with the, uh, the fire department with their birthday celebration last. Uh, Last Tuesday, last Tuesday night.
Yeah, that was um, good. They, they, they had a nice turnout. Um, <clears throat> it's it's nice to see that they have a very uh, they have, the, the fire department is very active. They had a lot of members. A lot of members were there. Um, a lot of smiles. Um, a lot of a lot of people from the community were there as well. Those are all all good things. Yeah, that's, that's positive. Nice thing. Very positive thing. Um, <clears throat> we have a uh, South County EMS meeting next week. Um, so we'll get ready for that. And and I would I would tell uh, members I, I would ask the members of the town to uh, to um, invest a little time in the uh, the budget that's that's occurring right now to understand it. So when we get to town meeting, we'll be all able to to have a, a good solid conversation about it yeah that, that does help and, and i'm sure if people have questions they can always call us and, you sure. know, we can provide information um to right because then you're you're not playing catch up at the meeting you're discussing debating it rather than trying to get the, some base facts in there so and if anybody has suggestions on information too that you know they think might be helpful let us know you know absolutely <clears throat> Um, we had our, unfortunately, this is why we were a little late tonight. We had another personnel committee meeting, so we're hammering through trying to come up with our stuff for that. So hopefully we're getting closer to resolution on all that stuff. <clears throat> and then... If I could, one second, uh, yeah. Mr. Chair. Uh, read in the newspaper, and, and I uh, communicated with uh, our representative, Steve Kulik. He says he's not running for re-election. That's what I heard on the way home today, yeah. Um, it was on the news. So I, Steve, and Steve has been a, a wonderful friend to the town of Sunderland over the years. Yep. Um, he's always, when whenever <laughs> we ever had a, you know, I, I don't think he's missed more than a couple of our Memorial Day parades. Right. And I don't think you'd be hard pressed to find an elected official that fought for for our community as much as Steve has, and and there's just little things that happen that he that he always are there and always willing to to take a telephone call um, to listen to what you had to say to ask questions. Um, I think it's uh, we're, we've been very 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 um, lucky. To have a man of Steve's uh, character that represented us, I would agree. Um, it's always been very responsive. Hey, look, I I don't. And <laughs> Steve will tell you I don't always agree with every position that he takes, but he's always very consistent in his positions, um, and he has never sold sold us down the street. Um, for something, and 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 I, <clears throat> I think that very admirable, in a, in a someone that works for for us like Steve does. Yeah, I think one of the things I've always been impressed with, honestly, he's just a hard worker in terms of being there and representing and everything. You know what I mean? He's always there when you need him, and <clears throat> I just hope that he has a uh, when he when he uh, the final gavel falls for him at his. The last trip to Boston that uh, he and his wife Suzanne have a um, very enjoyable uh, retirement. Yep, it's, been, it's twenty years. It's a while. It's a lot 25. of work. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yep. Twenty-five. It's a lot. A lot of back and forth. A lot of miles on the car. <laughs> you know, from Worthington. Yeah. yeah, it's a long haul. We've been so. very lucky to have Steve. We have. Yep. I'd like to thank him. <clears throat> And then, uh, as we mentioned earlier, we will have uh, will be closed next Monday because next Monday, February nineteenth, is President's Day, and uh, also a lot of people will be out of school. So drive carefully out there and enjoy the week if you happen to have it off. Have a motion. I have a couple. Of oh, days. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am. I'll be quick. No, no, I'm sorry. We were, we got so wrapped up in that stuff. I just I did prepare the. Um, town meeting calendar for you so you have it there for you 
Um, I just wanted to bring to your attention that um, PVTA has some route changes proposed. Yeah, I saw that. And um, there's going <clears> to <throat> be some public hearings. Uh, those are posted on our website along with the proposed changes in the rate hikes. Uh, Mark Faberman uh, will be here tomorrow night for the wayfinding um, and branding uh, presentation of design concepts at 6 o'clock. And we have a park kickoff meeting uh, for the final design on Wednesday at 4. That's just a working group meeting. But okay. Carlos will be here from Berkshire, oh, nice. um, Chief D. Metropolis, and George. And everybody's going to get together and really take a good look really at the design, the design and <coughs> Excuse work me. with Carlos on that. <clears throat> and we have a department head meeting on Thursday. Uh, we're reviewing the website um, conversion. The new to version the new of it. Yep. Oh, good. Software checking pages. In the North Main Street reconstruction meeting, um, has been scheduled for Wednesday, February 28th at 5 p.m. Right, okay. NASCOT, um officials will be here. Uh, John Morgan from CHA and Perfect. interested. Good. So we'll Can we make some... sure we contact the uh, people that showed up last time? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I, yeah. I'll make sure I send out another, but I do <clears> let them know. Add that to my calendar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it'll be good. So we can, we can get some eyeballs on the ground in the actual spot rather than just a project on paper and yeah. see. That, hopefully that will help. All right. Sorry about that, Chair. No problem. All right. A motion? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you.